Yo, yo, welcome back. Today we are looking at the Evil Crow RF, the version two. This is the version one that was sent to me by Open Source SDR Labs. This one was sent to me by Rabbit Labs. So today we're gonna to be flashing the firmware on this guy and just showing you how to do it because some of these come flashed, some of them do not. So getting into it, we are gonna go over here to our desktop and we're gonna to go to and all the links are in the description below. So if you have any questions, uh, go ahead and feel free to reach out to me in the comments or join my Discord or join the Rabbit Labs Discord as well. So let's go to github.com. We're gonna go uh, HRAT Evil Crow Custom Firmware CC1101 Flipper Zero. This is not a Flipper Zero, but that's where they have the firmware at. And then here we can dive through if you want to on the documentation and such uh, to kind of figure out if you wanna just do this on your own and figure out how to do it all, but I want to show you how. So go to code. We're going to go to download zip. I already did this, so I'm not going to do it, but go ahead and download zip. And then once that zip is downloaded, I put mine on my desktop. You can see it right. Let's see, get rid of that guy. That way there's no confusion. Get rid of that guy. So you can see it right here. Go ahead and extract all if you're on Windows. And then if you're on Mac, just go to unpack that. And then we have that folder. Now in this folder, we have firmware SD and then the readme. Now you're gonna need an SD card. So go ahead and take an SD card like such. That guy right there, I'm gonna pop him into my little dongle here. And then I'm gonna to go to disk utility. So if you're on Mac, command space to open up your spotlight and then disk util. And then I'm gonna go ahead and erase my uh, little SD card and I'm going to format the uh, ms.fat32. So let's go ahead and format that guy. And then once it's done, I'm going to close out of disk util. Now back on that file, we're going to go to SD card. We're going to take all three of these files right here. So command A if you're on Mac uh, for select all, and then I'm going to drag them and drop them. I'm gonna drag them and drop them right there onto my Evil Crow RFV2 is what I named my card. And then let's go ahead and let that guy go there. Now, once they are on the card, eject your card out of your Mac or PC. And then we're gonna put that card right there, put that card right there on the USB portion. That is where your SD card goes, just like that. And then take that and we're gonna plug the whole thing into your computer. Now, once we're there, we're going to go back to our web browser and we are going to download ESP Home Flasher. Now, I know that there's a few other web GUIs out there that can flash ESP32 stuff. There's also a few other uh, well-written uh, apps out there for well for doing ESP32. I tried the web GUI and I tried the uh, do, do AE uh, app and neither of those work. So I'm gonna follow the instructions. I'm gonna use ESP Home Flasher uh, because that one has worked for me. And I know it's older, but yet it works. So we're gonna sit with that one. So go ahead and go to uh, github.com ESP Home Flasher. And this one is written by Marcelli Store Node MCU Fly Flasher. You can see that right there. That's one that we want. Again, the links are in the description below. So go ahead and go to the releases, go to latest. And then down here on the assets, you're gonna download whichever one is for your system. I'm on Mac. Um, I've tried this on Windows as well, works great. I have not tried on Linux, but I assume that it works. So I download this from Mac, unpack that, install that app, and we are ready to go. So once we are installed and ready with that ESC home flasher, let's go and open it up. If you don't know where it's at, again, command space and just type in ESP home flasher and it should bring it up on your spotlight. Uh, but I already got mine downloaded, so let's just wait till it opens up. So once we are open here, now on some of these boards or your computer, you may need to hold down the reset button. That's gonna be this guy right here. You have two buttons right here. You're gonna need this guy, the single side over here, the reset button. Let's go ahead and hold that guy down while we plug him in to our computer. And then I'm gonna hit refresh over here on that port and then pull it up the dev CU USB serial 14120. And then we're gonna find our file and then that bin. So we want the beta 
3.3.1 open. And then I'm gonna keep holding that reset button over here. I'm gonna hit flash. And then let's see what happens. So using the serial port as a serial port, yes. Keep holding it. And connecting, unexpected error, chip, fail, okay. I'm gonna let it go now. And then I'm gonna hit flash again and let's see what happens. So we got connected to chip size, we got the flash, and then let's see what happens next. There we go. So if it doesn't go and it's, it doesn't start doing your uh, writing, uh, you need to hold that reset button just like any other ESP32 board when you plug it, in, when you plug it into your computer, hold it down, plug it in, and then go ahead and flash. And then for this program, it failed through. So then we're gonna hold it down and then once it fails through, we hit refresh again, we let it go, and then we hit flash, and then there we can see that we have completed the install for the Evil Crow uh, custom firmware. Now from here, it says that we have the hard resetting uh, via reset pin. You can hit reset if you want to. Done flashing and compiling. I'm gonna go to unplug mine, and I'm gonna unplug this version one. We're gonna plug in V2 here. And we can see that we got a little light there showing that we have power. Now, back on our desktop over here, <clears throat> we're going to go to the Wi Fi, the Wi Fi, and you can see here that we already have an a, uh, AP that was, has been created. It's going to be EC, uh, ECRF, so Evil Crow RF, and we're going to click on that guy. Now, I already had the password saved, but the password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Simple as that, all right? Now let's go back to our web browser. We're gonna open up a new tab. And in our new tab, we're gonna type in 192.168.4.1 and hit enter. And then there we have it. That is what Evil Crow looks like. And then here we can see that we have all the features on the sides. So we can record, transmit, save, uh, the J word scanner, brute force, CC level one settings, the uh, Kaiju analyzer, uh, the rollbacks and roll attacks, and then the logs, settings, firmware update, and then reboot. Um, that's all we're going to cover today is just how to flash your firmware. You could also use your iDevice or Android, uh, and just you're going to go to the same thing. You're going to go to the Wi Fi, and then you're going to look for that Evil Crow RF, and then there we have it. And then the password again is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then once it connects to that, which there we go, we connected. Now we're gonna open up a web page. And then same thing, we're gonna type in 192.168.4.1. And then we're gonna let that guy load up. And then there you can see that we can also use our phone as a interface for this. So pretty cool. Um, simple as that, that's how you Flash of firmware on the Evil Crow RF V2 and or V1. Uh, I've done it on the V1, it works just the same. So yeah, anyways, check out Rabbit Labs to go get yourself one of these and I will leave links in the description below. Thank you for your time, I appreciate it as always and don't forget to like, subscribe, do all the fun stuff and I will see you guys in the next video.